Ho 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 and welcome to day 11 boozers! We're in Alberta today! Yup, that's right, I actually did get another Canadian beer. As I said yesterday, I want some more Canadian beers and we've got ourselves another one here. Straight out of Canmore, Alberta, we have the Grizzly Paw Brewing Company Ursa Major Brown Ale. Now if I remember, this is one of their seasonals that they do. Um, I don't know if it's one of the special ones for us, brewed specially for us, I don't know. Brewed fresh in the Canadian Rockies. Yes, yes it is. We're looking at a strong 7.2% ABV for an ale, that's pretty good. Unfortunately folks, due to the fact that I can't see squat because this labeling is a little different, let's try this with glasses. A rich North American style brown ale dominated with sweet chocolatey malt flavors. Complemented by a bright mahogany appearance, Northern Brewer Columbus and East Kent Golden Hops or Golden Hops brewed with two brew malt, uh, Munich chocolate wheat and caramel malts. Wow, that's a lot in there. Well, I guess we can find out how, how it is, shall we? Grizzly Paw, if you've never been there and you come to Alberta, I strongly recommend, strongly recommend that you go and check them out. This is a twist off too, meh, whatever. I've been to their brewery and it is one of the most fascinating ones. Not because it's, you know, a brewery, but it's because it's in the middle of the mountains and their views are amazing. Oh, summertime, wintertime, their views are absolutely phenomenal. And they make some good beers and pops. So, on the smell. Hmm. I'm getting a chocolatey note on that, but that's about it. Not much on the bottle either. Yeah, my nose might be failing me. All right, so the taste. And as you see, it's got a light, brown head to it, golden. Cheers. It gets a lot of malts on it, but the watery taste comes through a lot. Like you could tell they use some really decent water in brewing this. I wouldn't have guessed this is a 7.2. I see a theme going on here that basically you can have and say whatever you want on here, but it doesn't taste like it. It's a nail. It's not bad. I don't get a lot of chocolatey flavor to it. It's decent. Um, it's not overpowering. It's rimming the glass quite nicely with its foam, which is kind of, kind of nice and kind of funky. But other than that, there's not much here. No, I'm not getting much out of this. It's good, but there's not much flavor to it. I'm getting more of a, a watered down flavor with kind of malts in it. It's just doesn't seem like the description. So unfortunately, another three out of five for me. It's an easy drinking beer. So that brings it up to a three. But other than that, there's not much flavor to it. It's a brown ale. That's all. It's a brown ale, which doesn't, it, it says that it's got a chocolatey note. Not really. It's got a bit of a chocolate note, but it's more of a brown ale than anything else. I guess we'll see what day 12 has for us, shall we? Till then, folks, cheers, stay frosty, and we'll see you tomorrow for day 12.